baseball diamond tonight. Second ranked Duke undefeated at home this season. They welcome the North Carolina Tar Heels to Duke Softball Stadium here in Durham. Carolina making the eight mile trip up Tobacco Road, hoping to pull an upset here on this Friday evening, game one of a three game series. Digs in for Carolina. Opening pitch of the ball game is bounced right back up the middle, handled by the shortstop Baker, but the throw not in time. The Tar Heels see one pitch and have the first base runner of the game. Everybody back and ready to go. And Brooks hits another bouncer right up the middle. It's grabbed and tossed on to first for the out. It will advance Coleman up to second base. Let's take a look at the rest of the starting lineup for the North Carolina Tar Heels tonight. Duke Carolina has definitely embedded itself in these two teams. Bouncer to first, flagged by Tapia. And back-to-back -back ground ball outs after the initial infield single back there behind the dish. There's that changeup, comes in at 62, and it's 2-2. Yeah, you can tell this Carolina team came into this game trying to, Emerling doesn't bite. So now a full count to the dangerous Isabella Emerling. Swing and a miss, and Jayla Wright is fired up. Just the first inning, but Wright is animated. Probably out of the ballpark. And Tapia lifts one toward right center fields. Playable for Carson Sneed. The seniors got it. Immensely successful leading this Duke program that has their first hit of the game. A single to right field by Davidson, upping that 438 batting at. It's a bouncer back up the middle. Skylar Brooks flipped to Settlemeyer for one. That's all the Tar Heels will get, but they do cut down the lead runner and some other bats right behind her. So just to get through this first inning without any damage is good. On a goal to Looper to the right side and Skylar Brooks sacrifices the body to make the third out. Full after each, after each pitch, it's fun to watch. Three balls, two strikes, swing and a miss. Wright ultimately wins the battle. And about how she's handled that adversity and she's handled it well and that's what you want to see out of a freshman. Loops it to right field, and the Tar Heels have their second hit of the game. Play was close over at first, but Thompson hustled down, and she'll be aboard with one out. It below where it's going to be. Carly Myrtle, fly ball. Center field, ballpark will hold it. The catch is made by Jennings for out number two. And Carly Myrtle, of course, in the, in the box score, doesn't show up. Bouncer to the left side. Backhanded by Baker. Her throw across is not in time. Now a throw to third and a heads up play by Thompson. She'll go first to third on the sequence. Carolina with runners at the corners and two down. Meaning that C is going to hit a ground ball in the infield. And she does just that. Bouncer to the left side. Tossed over to first and for the second inning in a row. A Carolina runner will be stranded at third. Still scoreless. Middle of the second here in Durham. Her regional loss against Stanford, future conference foes. Kelly Torres sends a fly ball to right. Catch is made by Coleman a few steps shy of the track. Because speed, you just got to get your foot down in time. Movement, you have to read the spin. Freelich laces it to right. Misplayed by Sneed. Freelich hustling. She's going to try and take second and will do so. Goddard stings one, slow roller, Brooks on to first. Played well defensively by the Tar Heels, it will advance the runner to third. To deal a 2-2. It's a little fister right side, Myrtle will make the play. Three times now in four half innings, a runner is stranded at third. Five infielders out there. And Coleman beats the shift, dumps it into left field for a base hit, she's two for two. Megan Smith-Lyon, head coach of the Tar Heels. Defense on him. There is a bouncer back to the pitcher. Tossed on to first, just in time. Close play. Brooks asking if maybe they'd consider reviewing it. Seems like we're going to play on, though. Up off the page this year, but it's in her toolbox. Does hit a ground ball, though, to the right side. Put it in your scorebook is four to three. Guess what, Rain? Three innings. 
three times. The Tar Heels have a runner at third. Eye on emotion. Imagine get quite the reaction if she strikes her out here. 3-2 pitch. Walked her. Godwin struck out swinging her first time. Just like Emerling, but Emerling drew a walk in the second plate appearance. Here's a 1-2. And another strikeout by Jayla Wright. This Jennings, Giselle Tapia, Claire Davidson. It's a trio of left-handers facing Kenna Ray Dark and Jennings with a seeing eye single right back up the middle. Blue Devils have a leadoff batter aboard for the first time tonight. Tapia here. It's Tapia who's about to right back up the middle. Bobbled, but the shortstop Settlemeyer will step on the bag. May have been a chance at two. It will be one out. Four pitch walk to Davidson. Blue Devils have something cooking in the third. Having a Mina Vega up, the RBI queen, if you will, of this team. And Vega to the left center field gap. The RBI queen is going to give Duke the lead. Throughout her career, so if she gets hot, add to those two, they will be so tough to beat going down the stretch. Well, Gold, without taking the bat off her shoulder, loads up the bases for the Blue Devils. Home in this bottom of the third. Torres, the batter, flew out to right fielder first time. This time, she'll single to left. One in. Here comes another. Throw is up the line, and Duke leads by three. Her teammates call her Clutch Kelly. In moments with the bases loaded, she is at her best. The senior takes a pitch over the middle and slams it into left field. Duke continues to be aggressive on the bases as Amina Vega scores, and the lead is now three. Freelich, oh, a laser right to Destiny Middleton. Right place, right time. Swung at the first pitch, now the 0-1 is hit to right center field. Backing up on it, Alex Coleman. She'll make the catch to retire the side. But the Blue Devils strike for three runs. Duke with three hits and a couple of walks in the Clemson. They were started from scratch and have gone from literal nothing to Oklahoma City contenders. As Wright pulls the string and strikes out Thompson on a nice changeup. And now, on what I believe is a pitch timer violation, Myrtle will draw a walk. Middleton guides it. Baker on to second. They'll get the lead runner. And that's really nice pre-pitch awareness by Jada Baker. Two outs, one runner already aboard. Sneed swings through it. Jayla Wright continues. Right, mowing down the Tar Heels. Four scoreless frames. We're halfway home here in Durham. But the key for Duke is top eight come selection time. As Baker hits a bouncer up the middle. Settlemeyer is going to have it. Throw on to first. Close play, but good play. Baker is retired by her counterpart. And also kind of defending the home turf in the ACC tournament as well. You win the regular season, you're going to get the one seed. As Jennings, it's a bouncer that goes off the glove of Myrtle. All hands are safe, and Duke's got a one-out base runner in the fourth play. I think it should be a hit. That's just me. Tapia, fly ball to no one's land, and it falls in. No one took charge for the Tar Heels. Giselle Tapia will take it. Two on, one out for the ACC's player of the week, Amina Vega, awaiting on deck. Payoff pitch. Davidson to left field, right at Thompson, who makes the catch. Runners have to retreat. That's a huge out for the sophomore, Kenna Ray Dark. Vega, bouncing ball. Brooks handles it, wins the foot race to the bag, and Kenna Ray Dark with a couple of critical outs, keeping this. A right is ready. Down low, and Coleman walks. Wright keeps mowing him down like this. Brooks back up the middle, beats the shift. Coleman hustling. She'll take third, and something is in business for the Tar Heels. They'll have the tying run at the plate. But 
You're up three. I would I would go for outs here. Settlemeyer, left center field, and a great catch made in left. Coleman will come in to score. Sarah Goddard, the left fielder, laying out to make the play. Big first out in the inning. That's kind of a win-win play for both teams. Yeah, this is great softball all around. Abby Settlemeyer gets this drop ball and gets under it and hits into the outfield, which is exactly what you need to do with Alex Coleman on third base. But Goddard's got it and left field, the diving play to save potentially a few more runs later in this inning by getting an out. So stands in in an even more pivotal spot here in the fifth. Brooks takes off, throw down to second. Skyler Brooks gets her way to scoring position. Hey, for tunneling those pitches so incredibly well. Bounces it in. Brooks on the move. To like a big run around third. She's going to try and score, and she will. Holy cow. And that is huge by Skylar Brooks. She reads a ball in the dirt, but watch this. She's going to round third and make contact with Anna Gold. She knows it's obstruction. She knows that she has the opportunity to score. And even without the obstruction call, she's safe at home. Steals a run for the Carolina Tar Heels. And they're within one. Hurts if you're Duke, but made credit the Carolina offense in the base running. Ground ball to third, picked up there by Gold on to first. And even after all of that, Duke will get out of the top of the fifth, maintaining the lead. Pop up, shallow right. Brooks underneath it. Gold saw it well, all at bat. But ultimately, Dark gets her to pop out. Yeah, that's just the staff. I think you can be very successful. Torres, weak bouncer, back to Dark, who fields her position well. One one. Freelick, right center. See ya. Francesca Freelick's fourth homer of the year, and Duke's back up by two. The dugout. Francesca Freelick says, "Wait a minute. A pitch over the middle." Turns it around, keeps her barrel out in front of her. Extends through this one and sends it 240 into the construction site. Francesca Freelick. Hey, that was good. <laughs> Ground ball by Goddard over to Middleton at third. Sends it across to retire the side. So, Duke goes back up by two. We go to the sixth. 4-2 game onto the top of the sixth. Jayla Wright continuing in the circle for Duke. Sanaa Thompson, it's a first pitch grounder. Close play at first, and she's out. Immediate call for a review from the Tar Heels. As our umpires call her safe. Strike three called on Myrtle. And Wright bounces back with a looking K of the Carolina first baseman. Destiny Middleton waves and misses. Runner off and going, and Thompson is out. Three and two on Middleton. Inside, may have clipped her, doesn't matter. It's ball four. Either way, Middleton will reach. Carly Myrtle struck out looking, and then Destiny Middleton was hit by a pitch. Sneed hits a looper. Moving back, Baker's got it to retire the side. Walker comes out of the bullpen. Get to an 18 and 0 home record. Bouncer back to the circle. Hannibal over to first. Jennings, high fly ball, left center field. Thompson backpedaling on it, makes the catch. She was playing in against a lefty slapper. And Jen Premium. And Tapia gets hit on the arm.
That walk was a four-pitch walk. And swings and sends that one to right field. There's your insurance. Tenth long ball of the year for Davidson. He steps off the plate and a pitch on the black inner half, gets her barrel around, creates space with her body and does what she's been doing all year long, finding barrels, hitting balls hard, and hitting balls out of the park, and Duke gets. Lily Walker came in, got the last out of the last inning. There's a liner right at Skylar Brooks, and it will end the last of the sixth. Claire Davidson with a two-run home run gives Duke a four-run lead, and they're three outs away. Fielders in their normal positions. Swing and a miss by Coleman. 49 on the hanging. Brooks, weak contact on the 2-1, bobbled by Walker, and Skylar Brooks is aboard. Walker's pitch. Throws her. Emerling to left center field on a line. And it's gone. Isabella Emerling with her team leading 12th of the year. So now it's a two run game. Right back to where we were an inning ago. And there is absolutely no quit in this Tar Heels team. And it's Isabella Emerling taking a hanging pitch arm side and line drive out of the stadium. She knew it right away. This one just creeps over the wall. I mean, what a swing by Isabella Emerly. I mean, made that look easy, trying to fire up her teammate and say, hey, we're not done yet. One o'clock, game three Sunday, seven o'clock under the lights. One, two pitch, Walker trying to shut the door. Strike three called and the Blue Devils win it. Godwin is frozen, Duke wins it 6-4. And the first edition of the rivalry goes to the Blue Devils. Yeah, all the way around, Lily Walker coming in, slamming the door shut on the University of North Carolina rally. Freezes up Godwin with, for the final out, she's stunned. But on a pitch like that, even, even if it's in, you have to battle knowing where you are at in the game. But overall, the seniors were stellar for Duke. Claire Davidson with a bomb. Francesca Freelich with a solo shot.